today we are going to see a Sankey chart or also known as a flow diagram. Uh, this is a kind of visualization uh, that uh, helps to show flow between data. Uh, in this example, we are going to use R uh, and in one of the next videos, we're going to see an example also in Power BI. Uh, this kind of chart usually is used, uh, for example, for um, energy flows or also for uh, cost breakdowns uh, or material flows as well. Uh, let's go over to my computer to see the example I have to show you today. chart in um, R, we can use two different libraries. One is GG Sankey and the other one is Network 3D. In our case, we are going to use um, GG Sankey for our example. And in order to uh, install this library, uh, we need to run the, um, the code that I have on row 4 and 5 and just once. And if we're going to install it from packages here on the right tab, where well, it's not going to work, we need to recall uh, DevTools and GitHub in order to install this package. And after we can just recall the function library, um, what we do usually uh, to use our packages in a script in R. And um, so, uh, for this example, we are going to use some data from the he uh, Health World Organization and the data is about um, the cause of death um, in different countries, in different continents in the world in 2019. Uh, first of all, let's read our Excel file. So I'm going to run the code until this uh, data cell uh, read Excel. So we're going to see how our um, data cell looks like. And so we have just three columns because we're going to have three nodes and soon we're going to see what the nodes are. And it will be country, continent and cause of death. In order to make a Sankey chart in R, uh, we need to change the data set um, in a different format. And to do this, I'm going to use a function name make long that it's uh, made exactly for this kind of chart. And let's see how this function is gonna change our um, data set. So I'm gonna run it on uh, the data set. And inside the function, I'm going to list all our columns or our nodes. In this case, we have three of them, so country, continent, and cause of that in this precise order and you have to follow the order that you need for your chart and as well as um, in this case we have three but we can have four five or whatever number of nodes you need to visualize uh, let's run this function and see what is going to change in the data set so the data set now named ef uh, have been changed in this way so we have a uh, X column that has um, the names of our previous columns in the data set that we have. So we have country, continent, and cause of death. We have the node. So here in the nodes, we have the actual data uh, that we have in the data set. And next X, we have what's follow um, after. So for example, for, for country, it's following continent. And when our X is continent, uh, the next is cause of death. So where our flow is going to finish. And a uh, third example is cause of death in X. Uh, the next node is NA because we have just three nodes. And um, next node is that is our actual next data. So the flow will go from Italy, the flow will go to Europe. From Europe, the flow will go to heart disease. It means that one of the first three cause of death in Italy, um, that is in Europe, will be heart disease. And this is uh, the typical data set or typical structure of the data set for a Sankey chart. And let's see how we're going to visualize it then. So, 
to visualize it i'm gonna use first of all the function ggplot in order to um, create my chart and after i'm gonna uh, i'm going to apply the geom sun key uh, in order to recall the geom sun key uh, function from gg sun key and in this uh, create the sun key chart so let's run the first the first ggplot Let's run the first ggplot function and here we'll just be created our chart and let's plot the key inside that plot. And after, in order to see it uh, on the right, we need also to run the name of the chart. This is the standard Stanky chart without labels, uh, just to see all our flows between here on the left we have countries, in the middle node we have continents, and last we have the cause of that. And let's add the labels. So another layer will be Geom Sankey label, and run it, and after see what change in our chart. And we see that here, it will add a little bit of confusion. So these labels are all in the middle and they are not, um, especially for the cause of that, some of them are really long. So they are covering the, um, the actual chart and we have this, um, the legend. So we should use some customization to make this chart better. Uh, what we're gonna do, First of all, I want the label to be positioned different. So I want the position of the country to be on the left and the position of the cause of that to be on the right and the central node that is the continent, I want to say the same. So what I'm gonna do is change the, I'm gonna recall the John Sankey label, but I'm gonna change some of the parameters as age adjust in order to change um, the position of the label and after I will change the size and the color and the fill in order to make it more readable. Let's run this function. You can adjust these parameters based obviously on how your label will look like. And remember always to the initial geom um, uh, ggplot to always say which one you want to be the label. So um, this is the function that we see up here. So label equal to nodes. So in our uh, DF um, data set, you see that, um, that the actual data will be our labels. So after we run this function, let's see how the chart looks like. And we see the label um, of the country moved uh, a little bit on the left and the labels for the diseases move a little bit on the right. And in order to um, make this chart uh, slightly better, I'm gonna apply also a theme that you can find in different, uh, you can find different libraries uh, that have different themes. In this case, I'm using the Viridis uh, one and is this library up here uh, library abilities and especially I'm gonna apply the option inferno and you have different ones you can search out the library this actually was my favorite so I just um, stick with this one uh, so I'm gonna run this part and we see just automatically that just applying that different team changed completely the chart and uh, one thing to keep in mind in R is the chart you are seeing in the plots here is just an example and in order to actually see the chart that after you are going to use I used to save it in PNG in order to see actually how the chart looks if I save it um, somewhere in a document and so what I'm gonna do it used the function ggsave. Uh, this function uh, saved the last um, chart that we were working with. I'm going to um, give it a path 
a file name and uh, also a width and height for the PNG. You can change this based on the size of your data and make different tries in order to have the best outcome. So let's run this part and see how our chart looks like. So I'm going to open my chart That looks like this and we can see how the flow from the different countries and continents after and up to the main um, cause of death and diseases that we have for each continent and country for example we can see that the heart disease is um, absolutely the highest uh, cause of death and uh, maybe followed by stroke seems to be and the data and the labels are well organized and I'm happy about it. The only thing, all the labels are upside down. So you can see that uh, they are not in alphabetical um, order. So I'm gonna run these two uh, rows in the code as well, uh, because I actually want my data to be exactly uh, in the same order that I have uh, the data in my data set. So if I want to um, precise order, it might be alphabetical or I can uh, do it also for an importance of a measure or a count, I can do that. So what I'm going to do, uh, we can see that in our data set, um, so for example, first uh, country is Italy, Australia, South Africa, and I want all of them to be in the order that I have them in the data set, whatever that order it is for me. In, uh, what is important to me to show first. So I'm using the function factor in order to change this order. So let me run it again. And here we can see that in fact the, fu uh, the first country is Italy, Australia, South Africa, exactly in the same order that we have it in our data set. Uh, let me know if you have question or if you have suggestion or and if you like this video down below in the comments and see you in the next one